All right, so the first thing you want to do is locate your uh, zip folder that you downloaded. Most web browsers automatically save them to the downloads folder. Uh, I have mine set to go to the desktop, so you can see it's right there. Now I'm going to right click that file and select extract all. All right, click on that. Now it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I would like to save it to my desktop in a folder named Phoenix because it's the album Phoenix. I'm going to go down and click extract. You'll see it extracting the files. Uh, if it's a really large file like the Tap Dance Dictionary, it may take a really long time to extract. That's perfectly normal. This is just an album, so it won't take too long. Now it's done. You can see there it is right there, Phoenix. If I double click it, it'll open up and there are all my songs. Or if it was the dictionary, it would be all my uh, videos of the steps. Now let's say I want to put that in iTunes so I can get it on my iPhone or my iPad. Uh, I'm just going to move this over here. I'm going to open up iTunes. There it is. Click on it. And now there are different ways to do this. I'm going to show you one way to do it. Whoops. Click on the little plus sign to create a new playlist. And I'm going to type in Phoenix. If it were the dictionary, I might type in, you know, dictionary level one, but it's the album. So I'll click Phoenix. Click on it again so it's highlighted in blue. Then I'm going to come over here to the files, select them all, click on them. And all I'm going to do is drag them right on over into Phoenix, let go, and boom, there they are. Next time I sync, I'll make sure that uh, the Phoenix playlist is selected, and you're good.